So what's going on guys? My name is Violent with Grizz Zombies. Welcome back to Black Ops 3. This is the DLC 5 series that I got going on. We got two loading screens primarily we're going to talk about. One for Shangri-La and one for Ascension. The first question we got to ask ourselves is where do both of these maps lie in the Black Ops 3 storyline? And why are they important to a DLC 5? So let me explain my thoughts on this. It also goes into another theory that I had with Call of the Dead as to these maps being stuck in time. There are three maps specifically, and this is going to cover the other two maps. So if you missed the first map that I talked about that was Call of the Dead, be sure to check the top link in the description box below. It'll take good care of you. So what do we know about Shangri-La? Well, we know for DLC 5 information that this comes from a moon loading screen, and we see Samantha in the right corner. The background does match an exact match of Shangri-La. The maps on the original loading screen are in the background. This loading screen, I believe, comes from a video that Treyarch made called A Brief History. That will also be linked in the description box below if you want to check that out as well. But we got our sources for DLC 5 information, and we're curious as to where they're going to go in this storyline. We know that this map is primarily focused on Brock and Gary, and we know in Zetsubu no Shima that they actually died. The Cypher basically told us that they died of astrophoric interference with their plane. They were flying over Shangri-La. And from the loading screen of the original Shangri-La, we can assume that it was the tornadoes and that they were seen in the picture that actually caused it to happen. In Revelations, we hear a radio of an unnamed woman who tells the story of Brock and Gary and what exactly is happening to her as she gets stuck in Shangri-La as well. Let's have a listen. So I started with a simple one. Something about two guys named Brock and Gary looking for a car They finished like dead and they start there. Next thing I know, I'm in this jungle, and it's hot and humid, and the sky goes black, like dark black. I look up, there's an eclipse, and these things start chasing me, like zombies. Trust me, I know how it sounds. I've been fighting them so long now, I should be dead. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have died, but it just keeps going. So as you can see, this woman's just as stuck as Brock and Gary was, and this is a Revelations update for Shangri-La. So since that time, we've got this moon loading screen that shows Shangri-La in the corner, hinting at something possibly coming for DLC 5. And that's my connection with Shangri-La, but we must know that this map is also stuck in time, so it can be a tangent that can move on into another game, meaning that since it's stuck in time, it's one of those maps that can be revisited again. And a map that is equivalent to this is called the Dead, but just as important, Ascension. And Ascension's not really talked about when it comes to being stuck in time. So this is one of those rare videos that I'm going to talk about Brock and Gary as well as Dr. Gersh and Yuri Zavoisky. So be sure to drop a like if you guys like this type of content. I know a lot about the zombie storyline, and we're going to get right back into it. So... A lot of people may know of Dr. Gersh, especially from Black Ops 3, but something you might not know of is that he was a scientist on his own. He was never actually a former member of Group 935. The only connection we really have for him being affiliated with Group 935 is that they use some of the same type of weaponry and Element 115 to power their weapons, and that's really the only connection that we know of. The term that we all know as the Ascension Group was the actual group that worked under Dr. Gersh. He was ahead of the entire facility and everyone that worked under him was considered the Ascension Group. There were Group 935 members that left, they're called Defectors, that came to the Ascension Group, but they became a part of the Ascension Group. So they that's the connection between the Ascension Group and Group 935. Group 935 came and worked for the Ascension Group and they were considered still the Ascension Group, but they all worked under Dr. Gersh, and that's kind of how this thing worked. But this is stuck in time. This whole map is stuck in time, so everything that happens here will continue to be a revolving circle. So who is Yuri Savoyski? He's another guy that's in conjunction with Gersh here on the map Ascension. This man worked with him, but was tasked with sending monkeys off into space. Yuri felt that his science was feeling a little underwhelmed, with this task so he started going into madness he started hearing voices samantha came to him and ultimately set up the betrayal that happened to gersh where he got sucked into his own gersh device and that's when richtofen comes in to save the day and actually frees gersh i believe the way it went down was when richtofen teleported here he couldn't get out and the only way he knew 
how to get out was to free Gersh so he could get that information and be teleported out. And that's how we achieve the Easter egg on this map and Richthofen continues his mission as planned. But that's a little bit of the lore guys behind Shangri-La and Ascension. Both these maps are stuck in time and we've seen and updated the information on the channel. So now we can move forward with the understanding of these maps being tangents for something like Black Ops 4 or else the DLC 5. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video. Violent out!